I am Jeremy Alstead. I am the CEO of the Montana Reptile Rescue. And this is our gopher tortoise that just came in. So she was brought into us under suspicious circumstances and uh, actually ended up using Facebook groups to identify what species she was and were able to identify that she is indeed a gopher tortoise as an indeed an endangered species. All right, so can you like give us how old she is? So or? from our estimate here, we can't really get the greatest idea, you know, even going by the ring idea. Our best guess would be in her 30s, but it's really hard to tell with a tortoise because, right. you know, you, they live forever. <laughs> Yeah, how old can they get? Uh, gophers are known to get up to 80 to 120. So these guys can actually, and they can probably push even longer in the proper circumstances. Yeah, so was it, so you were the one who yep, went Yep, I'm the one who her. ended up getting the call and ended up going to get it. And I was the one who ended up housing her for a month until we were able to get everything ready to ship her down. So what kind of, like, so it would be hard for a tortoise who lives in Florida, native to Florida. Oh, she would not survive here. Yeah. She might make it in the summer for a few days at most, but she's not going to make it long. She would have definitely not. She'd be dead right now in our cold. So. Yeah. And is it because, like, reptiles have a hard time, like, preserving? Bodies? Well, it's just, it's all based off, of, like, the best ideas think of Florida as a very warm, humid place. Something that they're used to where up here is dry and cold. Probably would develop a respiratory infection, probably would develop other issues and would pass away based off of that. The cold might not be the one to do it. It'd probably be all the other different changes to their environment. Oh, wow. And so what kind of habitat do they usually like live in? So these guys like sand. Just They can build, basically they build their homes in pure, like the beach sand that you'd feel. They can build their homes in those. And it's kind of cool to actually see it. Because tortoises like her, you know, you would never think you could build a, a home out of that sand, but she'll burrow down in there. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy how, like, nice she is. I mean, obviously she was probably a pet. Oh, yeah. She was probably, you know, taken either from the wild or could have been born into it. Most likely taken from the wild. Mm -hmm. And she's just been around people for a very long time. So how long, have you ever held a tortoise before? Yes. Yeah. I've held hundreds. So in my field of work, I probably deal with a tortoise once a month. So just never this type, you know, the special endangered species. This is my first endangered species. So it's unique. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, just, uh, you know, if people get a hold of pets and stuff, the worst thing to do is release them in the wild, especially in an area they're not native to. We've seen that with the red-eared sliders here in Montana. And, you know, just because she wouldn't make it doesn't mean another reptile wouldn't. And then that could cause, you know, damage to the environment that it's untold. So.